All right, guys, it's Shalon, and today I'm going to talk about Lost Ark, but I don't want to talk about the game itself. I want to talk about all of the marketing and hype behind it and why I blame the MMORPG media for why we're not getting better games. Now, I know that sounds like really weird because Lost Ark is doing really well, you say, and it is. As you can see right here, Lost Ark is the number one played game on Steam while I'm making this video. Lost Ark, of course, has 1.32 million users as its all-time high. And if I just check this stat right now, it, they have 811,000 people playing. And 828,000 people was their peak in the last 24 hours. And these are all great things. But why can't we let Lost Ark just stand on those numbers? Why does everybody have to start blowing things into these huge record setting numbers like this one? Lost Ark tops 20 million global players. And if you look at all these stories, they're all going to be very, this, very similar. They're all going to be the same. They're going to have the same handful of quotes. One of those quotes is going to be, uh, Amazon Games and developer Smilegate said they added 4.7 million users just three days after launching. And after a month after launch, that number has grown to more than 10 million. Okay, no problem. You're telling me you have 10 million users in the Steam build. Well, if we pop back in here real quick and we take a look at this number, 811,000 is a snapshot in time. It is how many people are playing right now. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to be very generous here, and I'm going to say that the average player window is three hours. They play for three hours a day. So I'm going to say that that 811,000 cycles over eight times, 24 hours in a day, three hour play sessions. So there's going to be a replacement eight times. That takes us to 6.491 million, 6.4 million players. That's an astronomical number of MMORPG players. And I feel that we would have been better served if the number isn't quite 10 million, we would have been in better shape. Because remember, that 10 million isn't the number of people that are logging in every day. That 10 million is the number of people who logged in at all in February. Now, there's another number that I think we need to talk about, and this is why I think press releases and marketing departments are doing their product a disservice and that is Lost Ark bans over a million illegitimate accounts. So where is that million accounts? Is that million accounts in the 10 million that you've added on? Is it 50-50? It's always kind of weird. You're like, we have this number, we have this number. And I know what you're going to say. No MMORPG, no video game gives you real-time numbers of the player base. And you're actually wrong. Uh, EVE Online has so much API data that Kriba maintains a website called EVE Offline. And as you can see here, the last five years of data, EVE Online at um, March 3rd, 2022, they had X number of players. And as you roll this back, you can see every day where their peak was. It's pretty, pretty impressive. You can see how many are currently online. You can see how many were on in the last 24 hours. But you can also see how many new players were added in a 24 hour period, the past month, the past week. So you can actually see what their player acquisition rate is over, you know, over a month. How many new players are they getting a day? That's the sort of data I would love for Steam charts to start including. I would love for there to be one more little column that says how many unique users played in this 24 hour period. And I highly doubt we're ever gonna get that. The thing here is you don't have to go to sensational numbers to make powerful statements. Take this statement from Christoph Hartman, Vice President at Amazon Games. Overall, the excitement surrounding Lost Ark from around the world is quickly gaining steam, as evidenced by the growing numbers of global players. Together with Smilegate, we are committed to supporting the growing community with a robust roadmap of updates in the years to come. That's money right there. That's money in the bank on a statement. You don't have to be specific. All you have to do is say, we're growing. Our number is going up. Everybody's going to say, yeah, the game is popular. Look at where it is on the Steam charts. You don't have to, you don't have to get detailed and like over exaggerate. And this sort of happens with the Smilegate CEO statement. Lost Ark has been well received by experts in terms of development value and game quality. 
and the number of users is steadily increasing. Let's go back to that 83 on Open Critic and 81 on Metacritic for the game's massive open world and quests, detailed battle systems, and excellent visuals. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at Open Critic, and as you can see on the front on the front page, you have uh, eight, seventy-eight. You have a seven, so GameSpot is the lowest with a seven. But we can go into all 39 critic reviews and we can read all these if you want to. You can go through and you can you can figure out which which one is the most applicable to you. Some are some are unscored, but they have really well written reviews. And the nice thing about this is you can go check out every single review. So as you scroll down, you're gonna get an 82, you got four out of five. There's a seven. So really a seven is about the lowest that you're gonna get. If you pop over here to Metacritic, I want you to notice there's one thing right off the bat. Metacritic is a little lower. However, Metacritic has a user score category. So I'm going to go into the user scores first. And as we know, people are willing to review bomb games. So user scores are usually pretty useless because as I come through here, I'm just going to look. Here's a zero. Do the same thing every day, but only a certain number of times. A boring story, a boring world from the corridors. A combat system with special effects from which the eyes will flow out, control break the fingers, or a gaming mouse. That's such a game. 15 or 24 users found this helpful, but I really don't I, I really don't see this. Is it real 2022 game? It looks like a mobile game with shocking sense of operation and UI. The best game for a five-year-old child. Graphics are great. So keep in mind, a lot of people that don't like Lost Ark are just gonna be negative. A lot of negative people are gonna be negative. But I mean, there there has to be some sort of, you know, balancing act, because now you got a 10. Pong Pong says it's a 10. It boasts excellent and beautiful production and the unique characteristics and story of each island are interesting. People who suit their tastes are expected to be uh, very immersed and raise their levels. I am very interested in the story of each NPC in this game, and I look forward to end content. Okay, maybe, maybe but I think a 10, a 10, it's the best game ever. And speaking of a 10, speaking of the best game ever, the problem with media reviewers is these media outlets, you guys know I'm very critical of all the media outlets. There is a reviewer named Harry Alston, and he says he gives the game a five out of five, a perfect five out of five in his review, calling it a truly polished MMO experience, although not a perfect one. What world am I living in? A five out of five is no room for improvement. That would be perfection. Why not a 4.9? Why not 4.9 out of five stars? Why not 4.5 out of five stars? So my other big piece here, we come back over to um, Metascore. We go into the critic reviews. 100. The gamer called Lost Ark a 100. Lost Ark feels like a reward after so many hashed out and rocky launches of new games. You know what you're getting with Lost Ark. It's an experience that has already been through tests and tribulations of its first two years of content. Its story won't speak to everyone, but the end game experience is worth a few cutscenes here and there. Lost Ark is one of the most polished titles I've played for some time. So it would be interesting to go and see uh, all their other reviews. Are all their other reviews 100s? And that's just interesting. But now here's where the problem with putting out numbers is. Remember, you had um, Christoph Hartman, really good solid number. The CEO says the critics are reviewing it. Let's go look at the critics. Everybody copy pasted the same critic review and aggregate scores. You say you got 20 million players. In the same week that you're trying to claim credit for banning a million illegitimate accounts. So now where are we where are we with this number? Is it 10 million accounts were created and you banned a million of them so now you have 9 million accounts and then that takes us back here and you say um, you had 811,000 people playing 828,000 you're, you're down 500,000 from your all-time peak so what's going on here are these all bots or half of these bots what's going on and I think this takes us back to our magic trick uh, metaphor the thing about a magic trick is you don't want to get into all the details. You don't want the magician to explain it to you. You don't want to know how it's done. Because the moment there's something in there that you can't believe and you start following that, it kind of ruins the illusion. I really wish in the future, going forward, companies would do what Christoph Hartman did. 
and simply good put a really well written statement out and don't try to bombard us with sensational media a 20 million number being this big thing you want us to believe in the same week that you just banned a million players i don't know maybe, maybe i'm just jaded maybe, maybe i just have a negative view of things i'd like you guys to take a minute go ahead leave a comment down below tell me what you think doesn't have to be a lot about lost art give me other examples of media examples where you almost get dissatisfied not with the game but with the media coverage of the game but then you don't go play the game i will see you guys next time when i'm live on twitch